Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I know I haven't posted in a while and I haven't posted any focus content recently, but today you guys aren't going to get to see any more focus content. But there is a blow off valve coming soon. It is coming soon and we are, are going to do a true vacuum so it's not going to be controlled by the ECU. It is going to be controlled by a true vacuum line. However, today my friend is actually coming over with his GLI and we are going to be installing an IE intake as well as a turbo inlet valve. So I will let you all know once he gets here. All right, so he has arrived and we now have the IE inlet. This is going to be the first thing that we are going to be installing since we are also installing the intake. But we need to install the inlet first before we put on the intake. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So to take the inlet off, you only need to take off your engine bay cover and then this hose right here. However, since we are going to be installing the new full intake, we are just going to end up removing the box, the pipe, and the inlet all in one. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So to start off, what you guys are going to want to do is take off these hose clamps for your intake pipe, your stock intake pipe. There is one right here and then there is one down back in here. We're going to take this off. We're going to remove this. Then we're going to work on removing the air box for the new intake. And once we re remove the new, the old air box, sorry, then we're going to work on removing the inlet pipe. And it's going to give us a lot more room to have everything removed. Our stock intake pipe is now removed as you can see here the one up front was a seven millimeter no sorry the one up front was an eight millimeter and the one in the back was a seven millimeter i used my socket over there now we're going to work on taking out the air box and then once we take on the air box we are then going to take out the inlet back there and replace it with the new one All right, so while we're trying to remove the air box, you have to take off the front cowl, which as you guys saw in the video is gonna be these two screws right here. You take this off, pop the passenger side out, and then you kind of pull it out from the driver's side. Don't forget to remove uh, this line here and then your other line that goes in here. Uh, just use a little pry tool to get this out. Flathead screwdriver from the back works, as you guys saw. Um, the next step, we are going to take off the lid of the airbox and then pull it straight up and pull it off its studs. So as you guys can see, we have removed the air box. Um, it was kind of a pain. There is, let's see how many screws there are. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight screws before you can remove the air box and they're all T25, just like, uh, just like most of these bolts here on the chassis. But basically, once you guys have that, all you guys are going to need to do, once you've unscrewed that and you've taken off the lid, is pull straight up in the airbox, and uh, they're little rubber grommets, and they'll pop off uh, these three studs here. There's only three studs that hold it in place here, one, two, and then the third one's over here. So once we do that, now we are going to work on the inlet back there. So actually the inlet was easier to remove than I thought it was going to be. There is a little screw that is a T27 right there that you guys are going to have to remove. You just remove that, hold on to it, and then this piece, this whole thing is going to rotate backwards. It's going to rotate back towards the front of the car and then you guys are just going to pull it out. Um, the last step to finally getting it out is going to be remove this uh, other line here. Um, and yeah, other than that, 
this is out and then you're gonna be able to put in your new inlet valve. All right, so we got the old stock one out. Uh, getting this pipe out is, or whatever this is, is the pain. It took two of us to pull it off of here. It just would not come off. Um, but now that we got that off, we are now going to be installing the new inlet pipe. And it is gonna go down in the, in the section like that. And then this is the bolt, the, the T25 right there that uh, holds it on there. So we'll show you guys how to do that right now. So we got the new inlet pipe on, as you can see here, and we put the new stud back in here. Just check when you put this on to make sure that it's not too loose. And if you guys can see right next to this right here, you want this gap, if I can point to it, right next to the where you're gonna put this pipe or the thing back on, you're gonna wanna make sure that that is not too big. You're gonna wanna make sure that seals with the rubber gasket that uh, is on the end of this. So got that back on as you guys saw, put the new pipe on and now we are going to work on putting in the new intake. Probably starting with the coolant hose that's going to go right here. So as you can see, we've installed, well, removed the old coolant hose. We capped it there and then we capped it down there. And then we are going to be installing the new coolant hose, which is going to be routed under the intake, but we're gonna do it before we put the intake in and then we'll just adjust it as needed. So it does come with two, I think, clamps in the box. And they should be, they should be like, these? Yeah, they should be these two tiny clamps in the bag and a, down in here. So we're gonna take those out. So actually, those clips were not. Uh, they should be these two tiny clips in here. So we are then going to install the hose. Should be basically like that. That side's gonna go there. That side's gonna go there. I'm gonna install the one down there first, so the coolant and I can kind of pinch this off up here and then plug it into the one up top. So we'll lose less coolant doing that way. So. New coolant pipe installed, got the clamps down there, and then over there. I just did it this way because it was the easiest way that I could get in there with the socket, so I think it's going to be okay if it sits that way. Uh, next, we are going to be installing the... What are we installing next? The cowl. All right, so next thing, we are going to be installing the cowl, which is going to sit up there on the front of the car like that. So we put the cowl in the um, just the filter box. Uh, we had to put the rubber grommets inside here. There's one down on this side. You can't really see it, but it's down. Let me see if I can get the flashlight. Down over there, push them in there. Um, unfortunately, on this cowl, there was a little bit of a fitment issue down in there. As you can see, we kind of had to... Um, chisel it out a little bit with wire cutters and uh, a little saw here. Um, it made the fitment fit a lot better, more flush. Um, yeah, without it, it would not have fit. So, so next step in installing our intake is we are going to be putting on this elbow. Uh, do you know which way this goes on here? The elbow is just gonna fit around here like this, but I'll show you guys how to put it on there once I know how to put the fitment on here. So we got the elbow on here, and this is the fitment. You guys are going to want the big uh, 
the big opening and the small opening right here. For the small opening, there's another vacuum line. There is a 90 degree um, vacuum line fitting, kind of looks like that, that you guys are going to need to put inside of here. It's going to attach to here. And then this one is, um, it's like a black part, looks like a black part, a big black part. It's going to fit in here, and then you guys are just going to need to clamp this off, and then your other line here, secondary air injection, is just going to push and uh, click into place. I'm going to leave this loose, but the next step is we're going to put the two pipes that connect it here and connect it to the turbo inlet, and then we'll be finished. So, as you can see, we've installed this pipe and this pipe onto the turbo inlet back there. This clamp does, it, it kind of fits because we have the spacer on here. Um, you kind of have to finesse it a little bit. You kind of have to depress the, the rubber hose here a little bit. But it will fit there and it will cinch tight. Last thing we are going to do is put on the rubber grommet that seals this to the hood. And then install the air filter and then I will show you all how it sounds. So it is now fully installed with the rubber sealing grommet and the filter and we got the edging cover back on and that is what it looks like. And uh, we're going to start it up here in one minute and uh, give you some revs, see how it sounds.